Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a charity shop haul. Everything you're about to see I found secondhand recently. So it's a thrifted haul and I've got some amazing bargains to show you. Some wonderful, wonderful things. So loads of different items from clothes to homeware to book, so all kinds. And I hope you're okay and happy Easter. So I'm filming this, it's Good Friday today. And I'm filming this in the morning, it's gonna be going on in the afternoon. So I hope you have a lovely Easter. So have a great long Easter weekend. Before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day and I found this, I didn't find it, it was in my cupboard. Well, I got it out of the cupboard, this lovely little Easter mug. And this was actually from John Lewis, but it was in the sale. Um, a couple of years ago so I got it online and I got one for my friend Claire so I gave her one and I kept one this cute little like Easter bunny mug it's really sweet isn't it? I'm not sure this has made it to a mug of the day yet I don't really know but it's cute isn't it with little little things on it so this is my mug of the day I've got a water because um I didn't have time to make a coffee I was like I had to I didn't realise the time. I was like, oh, I need to get this video ready. So I'm going to try and do a no edit video because uh, I might not have time to edit and I want to get it on, you know, for two o'clock like normal. So apologies if it's a bit weird uh, points, but I'm not going to edit. I'm just going to, I'm going to plough on through. But yeah, I hope you're okay. And I already said that as well, haven't I? But I'm going to carry on. If you are on Instagram, you're welcome to come over and follow me if you like Instagram. I'm on Kate McCabe on there and I've got a house account called Kate's Georgian Home and I'll link them in the description box. I'll also... Um, link last week's video. I've done some quite nice vlogs recently. I've really enjoyed them. Last week was a vlog in North Norfolk when we looked around the shops and went to a really cute little cafe, um, went to loads of different charity shops. So it was really nice to film and I found the most, the most beautiful teapot. So I'll link that below in case you missed that video. And before that, we did a, went to the car boot sale, me and Toby. So we did a car boot sale vlog and then a little haul at the end. So I'll link both of those below. But I'm gonna start this video because uh, I haven't shown you anything yet. Um, I'm sitting in the corner of the bedroom. I've got my lovely tulips and hyacinths here. So pretty together, the blues and the pinks and the greens. So lovely, aren't they, my Poundland jug. I didn't actually mean to show you that then, but I just picked it up by, by accident. So we'll start off with, I'll start with the things I found last week, actually. So I found that beautiful Pip Studio teapot um, and it was, yeah, it's gorgeous. It was £19.95 um, and it's quite an expensive brand. So I thought well, I'm going to, I'd get it because I just, I just fell in love with it. I was like, oh, it's a Pip Studio teapot. So it's lovely. I've already used it as well. It's just, yeah, such a cute teapot. I haven't actually, it's downstairs. So if you want to see the teapot, you haven't seen it yet. It's in last week's video. Um, but I did get, I did show you these actually. They're just upstairs in my charity shop bag so I got this book um I showed this last week Romantic Star by Selena Lake and I've got a few other books from her and they're really good like interior books kind of like a magazine but um it's a book <laughs> so I'll have a good look through there and get some ideas and then you know I'll probably pass it on to a charity shop if there's if there isn't anything I you know I think there are some nice things so I'll have a good look through um and then I got this little nibble tray as well this enamel nibble tray which is just so sweet isn't it so this is one pound fifty i tried to find it online but i couldn't um so i don't know it might just be a one-off but it's very sweet so i thought it'd be great for camping to put little nibbles on because it's you know it's enamel so that's that oh and then i did want to show you this it's not from a charity shop actually it's tk max um and i've had this for a little while so i must show you and then i'm going to start using them because i've just i've been waiting to show you but i didn't know what video so i thought well i'll just shove it in here so these are yvonne ellen um side plates and they were in tk max they had quite a few i really like yvonne ellen it's kind of not similar to Pip. Well, it is kind of similar to the Pip Studio. It's all a lovely, um, like vintagey china and teapots, and it's really cute. Um, and I saw these little plates. They were nine ninety nine, and there's four of them. They're actually plastic, so they're like picnicy ones. And that's the designs of them on the back there. Um, and they're, yeah, nine ninety nine for four. The RRP is twenty five pounds. But I love her, the things she makes because they're all a sort of a vintagey kind of size plate. But then she adds little animals and things on them so I think Yvonne Ellen's um designs are just just lovely um so that was yeah 9 99 for these plates and I did just show you that but that's the design of them so I'll just pop that up there so it's not from a charity shop but I just thought I'd quickly show you I also got this lovely um tablecloth from St Elizabeth Hospice it was two pounds that two pound fifty yeah two pound fifty and it's this lovely green and white 
tablecloth and it's kind of this polyester material so it's not cotton so I don't have to iron it or anything it's just and it will wash really quickly so if it gets any spills they'll just come out in the wash really quickly won't they which is which is great but it still I think looks really nice and um, so I'll put that on um table probably outside it'll look lovely or a little picnic it's huge actually I don't know how big it is it's down here it's massive it's a massive big tablecloth-y thing and I'll probably you'll probably see that over on um Instagram I'm gonna chuck it on the bed over there but I'll probably do a little like outdoor tablescape thing and use that and then yeah it's great if it if anything does get spilled on it because it's just wash in a second and that material is that material that dries in about 10 seconds so it's, it's quite good um, and then I've got a little jug I did show some um of my charity shop bargains on Kate's Georgian Home Instagram account a little while ago it's about two weeks ago I think so I just popped a couple of things on so you might have seen these but you might not if you're not on Instagram um so yeah these are a couple of things I might you might have seen so this was a pound it's just a very pretty little jug sorry the light's a bit I don't know if this is okay I'm in the it's a bit of a dull day again today well this morning is here anyway in Norfolk it's really grey so hopefully um hopefully you can see everything okay I need to get my um big light back but it's in the loft I don't have time I'll get it next week. <laughs> um, so a really cute little jug, really pretty little pattern on. And that was only a pound. It hasn't got a make on it, so I don't know what it is. But I thought that would be lovely. And um, just for a little plain white milk jug. I thought it was a really pretty little um, pattern on. That was very sweet. So I'll just put that there. And I also, I've got a few mugs actually. I did get rid of loads of mugs. I went through all my cupboards and my coffee corner alcove. And I think I... I must have got rid of I say got rid of I donated them to our local charity shops but I think I must have donated about 40 mugs so loads of mugs have gone I've actually seen them in my charity shops when I've gone in so there's still a few left that haven't sold yet I'm like oh my mugs I mustn't buy them back um so they've all gone so I thought I would get a cut I saw some nice mugs and I thought I would get them because I actually have space at the top of my, my mug cupboard I've got two spare shelves now which is which is great so I can find some the mugs that I really love and this one oh so happy to find it I think it's so pretty well I know it's kind of plain white but it's just so simple and it just brought me joy when I saw it I was like oh, that is such a lovely mug and I'm going to enjoy having a little coffee out of this mug every time because it's just lovely it's east of India and I do have another couple of things um east of India well that they've made this make um and they have lovely little sayings and quotes on you and got me a little heart thing and I had a mug that matched um as a coaster and a mug and they just have lovely quotes and sayings and they just I think they just make I don't know little items that that make you feel good I think but they just thought this was lovely so it's kind of a funny shaped mug so I haven't actually got a mug this shaped I like the look of it probably keep your drink warm won't it because it kind of goes it's a smaller top part it's quite a big mug um, and it says in a world where you can be anything be yourself and that's just nice isn't it because you can't really be anything else because you, you are you and I am me and that's all we can be so it's got a little be on so I thought that was lovely so I got that that was £1.50 but I've been using it so I've taken the price tag off that was one fifty, and I got this for Ewan because Mr Carrington uh, if you know I'm sure you know who he is if not I'll link him below in the description box um, but he loves a Starbucks mug and I don't know if he's got this or not but I thought well I'll get it anyway and see he can have you know if he's got it he can just re-donate it but I thought well I'll get it for him because he does love a he loves a mug and he loves a Starbucks mug this is only a pound it's quite a simple plain Starbucks mug so you know you and if you're watching hello I hope you're okay and this is another mug of the day for you it's only a pound but if you have it it's fine I can donate it or if you don't it's it's all yours and then my last mug <coughs> in this haul <coughs> oh excuse me is this beautiful Kath Kidson mug I haven't found a lovely Kath Kidson mug like this in a while so I found some other lovely ones obviously but I really like this one so it's quite an I think it's an older Kath Kidston style mug isn't it um and yeah it's just really pretty that was two pounds as you can see there two pound sticker and it's just got blue flowers on and pink I'm gonna sneeze oh no hang on oh that was a weird sneeze I'm okay I'm okay so really cute little mug 
so I thought I would get that and it's nice and big and pretty colours so yeah that was two pounds at Cathy Kidston Mark Cathy Kidston by Churchill so that was two pounds um and then this is really sweet so this is a little plant pot with a scalloped top and that just made me smile and I thought that has to come home with me and I'll put I've got some um little not blue bells what are they called is it muscari or something you know the little blue little blue like little flowers not these ones but just like mini ones it's really they're really pretty but I've got some little um pots of them so I'll put one in here it's so cute and it doesn't have a make so I don't know if like an older an older thing or it's a I don't really know but it's got the I just love the top I think it's really pretty and then you've got little there's like a watering can on there and flowers and little wheelbarrow so really sweet very cute little bluebells on this and it was £1.25 but yeah it doesn't have a it doesn't have a make so I don't know where that came from but I know where it's going sounds weird but you know like in my in my house it'll probably um go on the window ledge and then I got this was 10p I think oh no 25p just a really simple little bottle so I can put some flowers in here so that was 25p little bottle it's kind of grayy gray bluey uh so that was quite nice so I got that um this was really cute so this is a little tea light holder jar and that was was that a pound or twenty? Yeah, it was one pound as well. So I thought that was just very cute. So it looked quite nice in the um, middle of a table if you're outside. Now because I've got some of those citronella tea light things, so hopefully they'll keep the bugs away. But just very sweet, nice little um, tea light holder. Again, I don't know what the make is. It just no, it doesn't say anything. But I thought that was lovely. Might be a home bark in this thing, maybe. I'm not sure, but lovely little. Um, flowers on there's a tea light inside as well actually so open this up who's that oh, might be bestie out there um yeah you put a little tea light in here and then just pop it back in and light it so it won't blow it won't blow out will it because it's protected by the by the jar i'll just put that there and what else have we got over here oh these are lovely so these were i think these are one pound fifty these little artificial are they artificial? Are they the same thing? Artificial hyacinth. I always feel when I say hyacinth, so I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I think these are artificial hyacinths. Is that right? I just thought they looked lovely. I thought they looked quite realistic. Um, and I think they're yeah, either a pound or one pound fifty, but I've I've lost the tag. And they're all bound together here uh, with the string. But I think actually they probably look more realistic if I separated them. So I've just left them like this to show you. I don't know where they're from, um, but I just, I think they're lovely. So I thought I would get them and I'll put them, you know, I can dot them about on my, uh, what's it called? Like a little unit with my teapots in. There's a little ledge and I put flowers along there. So I'll probably snip this off and put them individually in, in little glasses. Cause I think bunched together, they don't look that realistic. Well they do, but not, I think they would look better on their own if that makes sense but yeah i'd had to get them because thought they were that was a great um great little charity shop find they look quite really like all the different colors as well quite realistic isn't it i'll put those there and then i've got just a little um enamel tin thing so when i go into the garden and chop some of the flowers and stuff and foliage i can just shove it in here and that was one pound fifty uh, so i thought that was quite handy to just put in you know fill it with some water and go around the garden and collect up some flowers because I've been doing that recently I've been making little arrangements um with flowers from the garden and foliage and stuff and just you know making little I've got some of those um mantle vases so I, they just look really pretty but you kind of need something so they have a drink straight away I think anyway so this is a good flower collecting foliage collecting um vase thing what is it it's not, well I suppose it is kind of a vase isn't it tin oh no it's one pound fifty and so i thought i would get that It'd be quite nice actually if you went camping and you had this in the middle i always think enamel i just associate enamel with camping for some reason but if you had some flowers on a table that would look lovely making your camping area look lovely we're going camping soon actually we're going um oh no it's not till oh i don't know july or august but we're going 
we're going glamping in these little pods soon and I can't wait it's gonna be so much fun going with a load of family and friends um yeah and that'll be great I've got some clothes here I have to show you the clothes at the end maybe um well that's just falling out of that oh hang on unpick the clothes there so I've got a couple of other bits and bobs here some books books bits and bobs wasn't that a shop books bits and bobs I swear that was a shop ah, from the 90s oh I'm just dropping everything books bits and bobs right I've got the lovely pot here plant pots so I did again I showed I did again I showed this on my Instagram home account and my stories so you might have seen this um it was only a pound and it's just so pretty it's got the little scallop top again which I just love at the moment I think it's been around for ages but I always if there's like a a bit of a trend or something I never I don't really like it straight away or I don't I don't see it and then after about a year I, I then like I like I sort of notice and go oh, I really love that I'm always past the trend um and I just really love like the scallop it doesn't matter trends don't matter when you when you love things like when you you know enjoy a style or whatever so yeah I just love little scalloped details I've got some really cute uh pillows on the bed and they've got a little scallop detail and got a little tray so it might be a bit late to the um the whole scallop thing but I just think it's so pretty so this is only a pound and either this can be like utensils or I can put a plant in here either way it'll just it'll look lovely it's kind of a creamy torpy um colour and on the bottom it says love I think this is love Linda and it says oven safe so I don't know what this was used for microwave safe oven safe dishwasher safe so I don't know if it had a lid and you put it in the oven I could fit that in my oven I'd take all the trays out or is that for something is this like a, a cakey baking thing I don't really know so if you know what this is or was can you let me know in the comments because this isn't going in the oven and then go in the dishwasher in the microwave but I'm not going to put I'm not going to put you in any of those I'm just going to put a plant inside you and you'll look lovely they look very pretty. So a pound for that. And I like the little, I don't know, this sort of whatever it is, this stripy detail as well. I think that's lovely. So you go there. And I got some little salad servers as well. These were only 50p. Um, I think they were from Stalham, one of the charity shops in Stalham in North Norfolk. And yeah, they were 50p. So that's actually quite nice um, just for a sort of a small salad bowl. And I think they, they're kind of art deco y aren't they? I think they're quite pretty, quite nice. They're really nice and light. Um, what do they say here? Let's say, what do you say? Stainless, stainless chromium plate made in England. Stainless, I don't know. It just says something there I can't really read. I thought they're very pretty though. We do need to give them a wash. That one looks a bit murky. So I'll give them a wash, but I thought they were lovely little salad servers for a salad. Um, and then is that oh yeah, we've got something in here. I think these are I think these are egg cups. And they're very pretty, so I'll just open them up. I've been saving them to show you. So I'll be using them this weekend for Easter. And open them up. I think they're kind of yeah, orange and blue. They look kind of like Wittards, you know, Wittards, Wittards of Chelsea, darling, you know, that kind of style. So it doesn't say where they're from, but I think it's, it's probably Wittards, if I've said that correctly. They've got a the little scallop detail as well. I love it. <laughs> um, these were a pound for two. I just thought they were so pretty, and, but we haven't actually got that many egg cups. We've only got a couple. So I thought I'd get these as well. And they're quite jolly and happy and Blue and orange is not a colour you see every day, is it? Colour combination. So a pound for the two. And I just thought I would, um, yeah, I'd get them. They're sweet, aren't they? Little, like, china egg cups. So I've got two of those. They'll look nice, um, yeah, on the table, won't they, for Easter. And for just, you know, eggs. Boil the eggs. Um, so two of those for a pound. I've got a couple of books. And then the last um, few things... I'm going to show you at the end of some clothes. I've got a couple of dresses and um, some jeans. I forgot I've got these jeans actually. Oh, on a top that's fallen out of its packaging. So I've got three books here and they were, I think they're a pound each. Are you a pound each? 
possibly i don't know they were just in my charity shop bag um so this one is lucy diamond and is an almost perfect holiday summer times best-selling author so that was a pound i've been reading um some books recently and just really enjoying switching off and getting into a, a good book so normally i save them for holidays but i've just been reading at home which is really nice actually so it gets you in a different world doesn't it which is a nice bit of escapism so just as getting away from it all it's just the beginning da, da, da. I'm, i think that would be good so i got a little holiday book um i got this one as well it's called the stranger in my home by adele parks oh i thought she was my daughter i was wrong ah. so i'm sure that sounds oh there's a bookmark Oh, maybe they didn't fit. Oh, Rufus, Rufus. He's just on the landing watching. A little bookmark, a little foxy bookmark. That's nice, isn't it? Where did you come from? That's cute, so I've got a bookmark as well. Come on, put you back in there. Oh, that's cute. And then this one is called Home Truths by Susan Lewis. How far would you go to keep your family safe? The Sunday Times best seller, and there's a smashed um like tea plate thing here oh that looks good as well yeah i always have a little read on the back and i read the first little bit thinking will i get into this and yeah this seems this seems good so a couple of books there so i'll put those in my little bookshelf and um you know be reading them at some point and i'm i'm onto my i'm on i'm on i'm onto my final couple of things before i finish this video and i saw this thermal top and i thought oh, that looks really cozy so i know it's getting a bit warmer now but this would be perfect when it gets chilly again mind you we might still get a few more chilly days i don't really know so watching toby's football match and stuff can get really cold so i thought this looked really good it's mns um size 14 long sleeve brushed fabric for extra warmth with japanese heat gen technology it was two pounds so i thought that was really good but it has fallen out of there but this is the top so it's really soft and snuggly and that'll be great like as a base layer underneath um a warmer jumper it feels lovely it feels really sort of squidgy quite thick although it's quite um that is so nice on the inside so soft i love that so that'll keep you really warm it's, oh maybe it's kind of like a long you know long johns or like do you get long john tops long long john long john silver should you just get long john bottoms but no you must get long john tops are they called something else are they call like I, I don't i don't know they call something else long long sally tops or something i don't know but this is really cozy and i'll be wearing this under my clothes and then i've got some jeans these were three pounds 95 from priscilla bacon and they just looked really nice a pair of jeans they looked good they're from I don't know where they're from. This is size 14. Is there a thing in here? They're black jeans, but they're really like soft. They're not like craggy black jeans. They're soft ones. Denim Co. Is that new look? Could be, or it could be um, Primark. I don't really know, they look lovely. They look kind of black, not too long, soft jeans. So hopefully they will fit. Although they look a little bit small but hopefully they'll fit fingers crossed fingers crossed you will fit me i can wear you and also my last things are here these three dresses and i did actually buy one quite similar to this um a few weeks ago in a video from a couple of weeks ago it's a really pretty dress but the one i bought before had small sh shoulders but this one's got like cat sleeves that come down a bit so i thought i'd get this as well i think the um actual material is is the same the kind of pattern so this was, oh no, I think this was two pounds from Bernardo's. Where's the tag? Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's sheen, sheen, um, size, medium. It was two pounds because the Bernardo's I go to in Galston, all the dresses are two pounds. So a really pretty dress with a elasticated waist and then it flares and like, sort of goes out here. But it's quite long, so it's got an extra bit here. So I think it's it's past the knee by probably about this much so a really good length I like the top that's going to be uh, something I wear quite a lot nice and easy to wear and easy to chuck on but I'll probably wear something underneath it like a slippy thing because it might be a bit see-through but I thought that was really pretty little pink dress um so that'd be good when it gets a bit warmer and then I've got this lovely dress <clears throat> oh oh sorry I just hit this 
with the um with the hanger i'll put you there this is a lovely dress from where are you from dorothy perkins really pretty colors it's really soft material so really soft sort of stretchy cotton and it's from where are you from st elizabeth hospice four pounds fifty and i just love the the pattern thought it was really pretty it sort of goes in here then it flares out the size looks good it is a size oh no it's not a 10 oh that's because the 14 oh i thought cause it's a size 10 here but i looked at the dress and thought that looks like a really good size i'm sure that's going to fit so it's actually a 14 so it would definitely fit um i thought it looked like a good size so it's nice and long not too long um long sleeves and i think it's just past the knee really like that and it's quite pretty uh, the detail here is quite pretty as well so that's one i can wear either with tights or with um i don't know flip-flops not sure maybe not flip-flops always oh, got funny sleeves actually they, like sort of they go out and then they go in at the bottom which would be quite nice um quite nice on yeah so that little dress i haven't actually tried that on yet i will try it on i have tried this on this fits really nicely and i think it's really pretty this fat face dresser. This is the final um, item I'm going to be showing you in this charity shop haul. So this is fat face. It was eight pounds from uh, East Coast Hospice. Um, so eight pounds is what's the most expensive thing in this haul. It's not a lot really in real life, um, but I just thought it was great. I really like this dress. It looks in perfect condition. Fat face is always um, is a good make, and it didn't look like I think it's a twelve, but it doesn't look like a small twelve. Oh, it's a fourteen. Oh, that's why it's lovely. Um, so sometimes fat face things, I find that they can be, I don't know if they're made for taller people, but I find that sometimes in the body they can go a bit tight, but this one fits really nice. It's nice and roomy and comfortable and it's past the knee as well. So it's a really nice kind of soft dress. I can just literally chuck it on and be really comfortable in. And it's quite warm as well. So it's kind of thick material, although it's sort of summery, it's nice and, um, I don't know, it's just lovely, nice and thick material it's not like thin and fly away like the other dress but it's lovely it's also got pockets which I love and it's just gonna be a dress that I wear a lot in the summer I think and it goes it goes in um here so it's quite flattering as well the V is a bit deep here so I'm gonna have to get a little pin because otherwise you're gonna be like I'm gonna be exposing myself um so I'll get a little pin here a little thingy out and just go Meh, so it doesn't you know i'm not like oh hello here's my whole, whole breast ditch for you so i shall keep my modesty and get a little thing and you know go Meh, there but it's gorgeous isn't it i love that i love you really soft i do need to give it a wash i need to give everything everything a wash actually i'll just shut that over there as well put this on the bed and that is it that is the end of my haul i've shown you everything haven't i yeah I have, yeah, that's everything. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. I would appreciate that very much. Um, and come over to Instagram, like I said at the beginning, Kate McCabe is my normal account. And then I've got a house account if you like houses and stuff. That's Kate's George and Home. I'll link them below with um, my video from last week, the vlog, the shopping vlog in North Norfolk. And then before that was a car boot sale vlog as well. So they'll be linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I think I've got away with the no edit thing, which is great because um, it's quite long now. It's nearly 30 minutes, I think. 29 minutes. So I shall quickly... Oh, hair's gone funny. I shall quickly edit. No, I don't have to edit. I'll export. You don't need to know that. But I'll basically upload it so it's ready and then you'll be watching and I'll shut up talking because hopefully it'll all go okay. But thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a lovely Easter. I will be putting some pictures on Instagram over the Easter weekend. So come say hi on there. And yeah, have a lovely, um, have a lovely time. And I'll speak to you next Friday. I'm going to do a Poundland haul for next week, actually. So it'll be Poundland haul. And then the one after that will probably be my Facebook marketplace finds because I've been promising that video. So I'll do that probably the week after, if that's all right. But thanks for watching. Have a lovely Easter and I'll see you next Friday. Take care. Bye bye.